Welcome back to part 3 of our planned motorcycle trip across Europe. If you haven't watched parts 1 and 2 already, I recommend you go back and watch them. Now we're up as far as day 3, so I'll just get back onto the computer now and continue with that. Okay, so our third day on the road, uh, Tuesday, we travelled from Compion in France to Bastogne in Belgium. On Google Maps it's given a distance of 285 kilometres and a travel time of 4 hours 41 minutes. But because we don't arrive in Compion until late the night before, we will be spending some time there in the morning. Now the main reason we came to Compion is to see the Compion wagon. It's a uh, train carriage that was used to negotiate the armistice for the end of the first world war which as you know came into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month 1918 and the uh, carriage was also brought back 22 years later by hitler for the french to surrender uh, to him at that time now, when we leave Compion, we'll be travelling through uh, Reims. Well, it looks like Reims to me, but I think it's pronounced Reims. We will be stopping in that city to have a look at the cathedral and a few other bits around the place. And from there, we will travel on to uh, Bastogne. Now, in Bastogne and the surrounding areas, we'll be catching up with Easy Company again. Uh, Bastogne was a strategic town in the Battle of the Bulge that was fought between uh, December 44 and January 45. It was Hitler's kind of last stand in Europe, it was his last roll of the dice. He was trying to get to the port of Antwerp to cut off the supplies to the Allied forces. A lot of the fighting happened around the Ardennes forest uh, in really terrible conditions. It was freezing cold minus temperatures now it was a decisive battle in the, the winning of the second world war now the 101st uh, airborne division with easy company held the lines around bastogne until uh, general george s Patton showed up with the third army to uh, support them um, and in Bastogne itself, we'll be going to look at a monument to uh, Patton and we'll be visiting the War Museum as well, as well as looking at other memorabilia and stuff around the place. We probably won't get to do much more on day three, so uh, the place we're staying is uh, La Villa in Bastogne. It's 97 euros for the twin room. Now this is the website of the place we're staying at. It's uh, it seems very nice. Uh, I didn't actually realize they offer jeep tours as well. Uh, immerse yourself in the battle of the Ardennes by traveling in a vintage jeep through the highlights of Bastogne and its surroundings. So that's something I might look into while we're there. Uh, I might do that tour the following morning. Day 4 Wednesday we will be travelling from Bastogne in Belgium to Nuremberg in Germany. Uh, Nuremberg is famous for the Nuremberg Ring. Now we're not travelling particularly far that day. It's a distance of 135 kilometres and a journey time of 2 hours 20 minutes. Uh, the reason we kept the journey short is uh, we want to spend more time around Bastogne uh, exploring the local area. Now we might do that jeep tour in the morning but if not we will be going out to the Ardennes forest to see the E Company Memorial and uh, going to the Beaujac re region of the Ardennes to see the foxholes that were created by the soldiers of E Company and the 506 Parachute Infantry Regiment. Uh, from there we will go to the town of Foy. Now Foy was held by the Germans, taken by the Americans, taken back by the Germans on a number of occasions before it was finally taken by the Americans of the, the 506 and E Company eventually. 
Hopefully we will get done in the Ardennes around lunchtime and we will be moving on then to uh, Nuremberg, to the Nuremberg Ring, uh, where I think Gary is going to give the Z1000 uh, a blast around the ring. Now the, the racetrack itself is 20.83 kilometers long with 27 bends and it has a surface of asphalt so it's uh, I looked at a few uh, YouTube uh, videos on it and uh, looked at a few other bits online now it seems to be a free for all you can be out there the carry be out there in the Z1000 and you could have someone else out there in a high S van but uh, I'd say Gary, you can't find it. It's, it seems to be a bit of a free for all with anything on the road, but then I suppose it's no worse than the roads in Ireland in the 1980s. But anyway, we'll see how we go with that. We'll finish up uh, day four in this place. It's the GT3 Hotel in Nuremberg. It's 98 euros for a twin room. Uh, it looks perfectly good for what we want uh, adequate free parking outside uh, it seems to have a few facilities there but look we'll be just looking to get our heads down and get up early in the morning and on the road for day five okay so that brings us up to Thursday day five uh, we will be traveling from Nuremberg in Germany to Baden-Baden in Germany it's a distance of 374 kilometers and a travel time of six hours, 30 minutes. Um, for the next, for day five and six, for, well, for the next couple of days, we'll be covering a bit more ground each day. We need to uh, catch up a bit if we can. So uh, when we leave Nuremberg, we'll be making a stop in Luxembourg at the American cemetery there. We'll be going to visit some of the graves of uh, the soldiers of Easy Company and it's also the burial site of General George S. Patton. Although he wasn't killed in the Second World War he died shortly afterwards and that's where he was buried. Now like I said uh, most of the day will be spent uh, traveling but only the one stop in the American cemetery in Luxembourg. Uh, when we get to Baden-Baden, we'll probably ha have enough time to have a look around Baden-Baden that evening. Now, I didn't do that much research to see what was there or, or what we can see there. Um, we will be staying in this place. It's Boutique Hotel Societe, I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyway, we got uh, two single rooms and uh, a single room is 52 euros each so it's not too bad at least myself and Gary get a break from each other for one night <laughs> um, but uh, yeah that takes care of day five on to day six day six we leave Baden-Baden in Germany and go to Berchtesgaden in Germany so it's a distance of 553 kilometers and it says it's a travel time of nine hours now day six, we don't really have any port of calls as such. Day six is more about the uh, spin on the bike. Uh, when we come out of Baden-Baden, we're going on the B500, which is supposed to be an absolutely fantastic road for uh, for uh, for bikes. I've looked at some videos of bikers on the road and uh, the kind of rave about it. It's supposed to be a spectacular road through the... Black Forest with some uh, amazing scenery on it as well so uh, that's basically that's going to take most of our day on Friday day 6 hopefully we'll get to Birch's Garden early on the Friday evening and we'll get to uh, do a bit of sightseeing now Birch's Garden is in the Bavarian Alps and it's a picture of postcard kind of a town it looks really beautiful there's uh, the mountains all around and there's a lake nearby as well uh, there's a really nice town square with a uh, it's a uh, cobble streets that kind of thing now it looks re really nice so if we get a bit of time on the Friday evening we will uh, have a look around uh, Birch's Garden okay this is the place we're staying on the Friday night 
Now, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, the link's in the description anyway if you want to look at it. Uh, it's 104 euros for a twin room for the night. Uh, we won't be that long in it anyway. By the time we have a look around Birch's Garden and uh, we need to be up and out early the next morning. So look, I'm up on the 10 minutes again now in this video. So I'm going to finish this video up here and do a part four. Hopefully I'll get the whole lot wrapped up in part four. So uh, I'll finish up and see you in part four. Thank you. Bye.